me about um, basically forbidden love. It's about a Chinese gangster who falls in love with a black girl, which is forbidden in his culture. And all the while, his two brothers are plotting to kill him because he is next in line to replace uh, uh, his father as a Chinese godfather. Tell me about that story. Tell me what inspired that. You wrote that. Yes. And, and um, <clears throat> tell me about that. It's a great script. It's, it's a great script. It's, you know, the guys, the guys in jail, you meet the black dude, they become close friends, and they, you know, the black dude gets killed, but he had a good rapport with the sister before he died. Chinese dude, and they, she kept going to see him, contact them, and when he came home, he fell in love with her. So they, they had a, a relationship, and you know, his um, his other um, Chinese girl, you know, she's wild, and she's, she's they're going to make attempts to try to kill the black girl, and eventually they end up getting rid of her. But then he has to, he has to worry about the, the brothers trying to kill him too, so he's going to do a lot. The script is really good, you know? Definitely. You also have a second uh, script, and this is one of many. Um, I know this is your new focus in your life. You have the, the sexual preference, which is about a serial rapist killer, rapist killer but we're not going to divulge who the person is. And they're basically, this is a, a suspense action movie. And it a, has a very exciting end, and it's similar to Fifty Shades of Grey. What you what inspires you to write these projects? Well, you know, uh, I was writing them when I was locked up because first, you know, I met the guy George Jung, and he did Blow, and he taught me how to write them, and then I started getting interested in writing them, and I wrote my book on my life story, and instead of sitting from the BET watching rappers and thinking I'm going to be a rapper when I come home, I decided to take another um, avenue and get these movie scripts together. It seems that the Peter Shoe story is really about uh, you taking charge of your own uh, destiny. And um, to me, I find it very interesting because it has so many peaks and valleys. And But the character, which is you, the person, continues to evolve. So at each phase, he experiences all of these uh, trials and tribulations, but then each time he elevates, um, even when you're talking about you know your rise and then you go into jail and they're coming out, it seems that, you know, I, I watched the, the uh, Funk Flex interview and it just seems like the Peter Shoe story is not over and you know, when you wrote that book, who, you know, it, it's real detailed the way you describe it, you know, and how you're thinking. It, it, it's it, you wrote it after, and so, how did you recollect those things and, and be able to to reflect on those things the way you did? Well, I had 21 years, so you know, you have a lot of free time, so you know, you think about. The things that went on. There's still a lot of things in the book that I haven't put. put I'm going to use on the screenplay, but you know the, that I've saved. So it's going to be even more action-packed and stuff when we get to that point. Right now, that's just a prelude of what uh, we really have uh, in our grasp.